Hey guys, so Batman series continues and we have hit a roadblock. We're two movies in? We've already hit a roadblock. Oh boy, here we go. Batman Returns is no one's favorite Batman movie. At least, I haven't met anyone that uh, this is their favorite Batman movie. And I'm going to be completely honest, I did used to like this movie up until I watched it again. I, I haven't seen the movie in a few years, and from the last time I saw it, I still liked the movie. Now watching it, not really. Let's talk about it. So, the, the Batman Returns... Basically, what happens is the Penguin, who lives in the sewers beneath Gotham, he joins up with a business na ma businessman named Max Shrek to try and topple the Batman once and for all. And then Shrek's assistant, Selina Kyle, finds out, so he tries to kill her, and then she becomes Catwoman. Then she teams up with them to try and destroy Batman, but then she kind of starts to fall in love with them when they meet. So, I want to go over... Uh, the cast and then the positives. So, Michael Keaton continues to shine as Bruce Wayne and Batman. All of the things that I liked about him still continue to stand in this movie. And I easily think he is the best part of this movie, besides maybe the tone. Uh, Danny DeVito as the Penguin is fun. I don't think he really makes or breaks the movie, or that he's even that good, and he's kind of terrible like the performance is really good and i do like the character but this the version of him in this movie he's horrible i mean not like performance wise or anything just the actual person that the penguin is supposed to be is a terrible terrible person and you know he's vulgar he's rude he bites a dude his freaking nose off it's it's terrible, but I kind of like it. And then Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, easily the weakest character in the movie. Now I know I'm going to probably catch some hate for this because, you know, ever, a lot of people are like, Catwoman is the best part of this movie. She is, she's so cool. She's sexy. She's cool. She's sexy. She's sexy. That's it. That's all she is. And even then, she's not even really that sexy. I'm sorry. I'm going to catch a lot of heat for this, but I don't think a tight leather costume is that sexy. And I don't think Michelle Pfeiffer is that good of an actress. And I easily think that she is the weakest character in this movie. She's not a good love interest for Bruce Wayne or Batman. She doesn't add anything to the movie. She's not a good villain. I mean, really, she adds nothing to this movie. This movie, honestly, probably would have felt more focused if they had just cut Catwoman out and only focused on the storyline with the Penguin and Christopher Walken's character. I feel like that would have made for a more cohesive and streamlined movie, Whereas you have this whole other bit with Catwoman that just it doesn't fit because the character and the whole storyline just isn't that good. And then Christopher Walken is really good as Max Shrek, and I love Christopher Walken, but he just doesn't really stand out in the movie. I mean, it does suck because I really like Christopher Walken, and his storyline is actually pretty good, it's just not developed enough because it takes a backseat to everything else in the movie. The one promising thing in this movie takes a backseat to the penguin and his flipper trick. Um, I do really like the the dark the dark gothic tone of these movies. I think that is, besides Michael Keaton, the best thing about this movie. Uh, I thought the characters were a bit more balanced a bit more well-balanced in this. 
Not that the characters are really that good, but they are m more well balanced because the first movie was a bit heavy on Joker, not as much emphasis on Batman. This one definitely gets it to where it's about the same amount of Batman and the same amount of time focused on the villains. And I did like that a little bit. Um, I thought this, um, this, the first movie was a little bit definitely more tame in terms of the weirdness that Tim Burton brings to his movies. This one, it's like the floodgates opened, and it's really weird, which some of it is cool, but a lot of it is not and makes no sense. And, I mean, the bat suit looks better compared to the first one. It looks a bit sleeker and, um, yeah, just better. And the soundtrack is amazing. The soundtrack by Danny Elfman, the score is just incredible. Now to the negatives. I don't like any of the characters. Like, the actors and performances, for the most part, I really like. But pretty much all the characters are either horrible or just one-dimensional. And I didn't care about anything that happened in this movie. Because there was a certain point in the movie where I was like, what is even going on? This, there's just so much crap going on in this movie. And I don't mean crap just like in a general term, like there's so much crap going on. I mean, it is literally crap. It's bad. Uh, it feels like the studio just gave Tim Burton the freedom to do what he wanted, rather than, like, I don't know exactly if this is what happened, but it feels like, especially compared to this movie, the studio was a little bit more um, involved when it came to the story with the first one and the development of the characters and everything and the tone and the direction of the story and the look and all that. Whereas this one, it feels like they were just like, hey, you know what? First Batman was good. Tim, do whatever you want. We don't care. We don't care if it makes sense. You did Batman and that was good. Do that again. Only make it weirder if you want. And I just, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all, because the first one felt somewhat grounded in realism. This one just feels like you're watching a cartoon, a live-action cartoon happening on screen. And it's just too weird. It, it's, it's not a Batman movie. It's a Tim Burton movie with Batman in it. The first movie was a good blend of both. It had some Tim Burtonisms to it, but it was still clearly a Batman movie. This one is just a Tim Burton movie with Batman in it, and I don't like that. I, I just don't like how it goes from pretty good grounded Batman movie with some Tim Burtonisms to straight cartoonish Tim Burton movie. Um, yeah. And I also think the story, in general, is kind of stupid. I don't particularly care for it. The whole thing with the penguin, and how he wants to get rid of all the firstborns of Gotham, I think that's just stupid. And Yeah, I think the only good storyline was um, Max Shrek's storyline, and that, again, sidelined for everything else that was in this movie, so... Yeah, and then, I mean, this movie is just style over substance. The first movie, I feel, balanced both equally. That movie is really stylish, but it has a lot of substance to it. This one has no substance, all style. And I'll admit, some of the style is cool, but when you're having characters, their arcs, and story take a backseat just because, oh, that looks cool, that's a problem. 
Um, yeah, this movie is entertaining, don't get me wrong. But that's about it. It's light entertainment at best. I do like this movie. I just, I find it very hard to watch all the way through. There are so many good things in this movie. But there are so many more bad things. And I didn't even name off everything. I just kind of put everything that I could think of into this. There's probably so much more that I haven't even thought of or noticed. I mean, seriously. I do want to like this movie. It's just not that good. And it's definitely disappointing compared to the first one. But it is better than the next two. I'm going to give Batman Returns a C+. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.